of all, welcome back to my channel and welcome to this video where I am going to chat a little bit about what's been going on lately. Let's do a little live update, just chat a little bit and I am going to do a full face of makeup, some new things, some like really old favorites and also I'm going to be I'm going to be doing another look with my collab palette with Udazai which is restocking on the 22nd. So let's get into the look and if you haven't been here before, hello, my name is Angie. I am such a lover of beauty makeup. I love everything beauty makeup related, especially things that are a little bit more on the colorful side. So we're definitely doing colorful makeup today and if you want to see some more makeup on the timeline don't forget to subscribe because i upload five videos a week although it has been quite a lot more videos lately i don't know what's going on i need an intervention <laughs> The Hella palette is restocking on the 22nd of March, which is pretty soon. I think that this one is going up on the 21st, right? And it's restocking at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. I will leave some time zones down below in case you're interested. It was sold out for a bit, but now it's coming back. And I do think that this is going to be the last restock. Just so you know, don't be mad at me if you miss it this time, because I, this is going to be the last restock. But we do have quite a lot of stock. So it's not like we have like, oh my God, 500 and then they're gone. That's not that's not. It, but I do think that this is going to be oh the last one. I am going to be using some new favorites and some old favorites. This is the uh, the new professional from uh, Benefit. This is the one. It's the light one. It's such an amazing texture. I really really like it. It's like a water cream. I really really enjoy this one, and I'm using this one because I'm actually going to be using a foundation or like a skin tint. I swatched it in store, and I've never used it, and I don't even know if I. Am I the stupidest person? Don't answer that. But I was in store. I was in store at Sephora. I was swatching this and I loved the texture of it. And I told my husband, oh, I really want to try this one. And then we left Sephora and, he, and I was like, I think I'm going to try that one. He's like, oh, why didn't you buy it? I was like, ah, I wasn't sure. I think I'm going to order it. He's like, did you try out your shade? Dum Dum, did you try out your shade? No, I did not. No, no, I did not. I was in store. I didn't try out my shade. So. <laughs> We're doing this one. This is the Rose Ink. I think this is Rosie Huntington Whitley's brand, right? And this is the Skin Enhanced Luminous Tinted Serum. This it, it looks like death. Does this look dark? Oh. <laughs> if this doesn't work out, I'm gonna have to use something else. Let me just pull something out here. Cause this is like a serum, but this looks but you can see my hand and like my arms is pretty darker than my than my face. Am I gonna just do a little here? I'm gonna use a brush. But it just looked so fresh when I swatched it in store. It has a very light coverage. You know what? This might be good. I'm just. Is it even? That's light. Okay. Uh, maybe I'm gonna have to bronze this. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna do, uh, let me wash this off and we'll see how this doesn't help. I'm gonna do some color corrector first though. These are the Sigma color correctors. And I thought this, since this is such a, um, I'm gonna use, I think I'm gonna use this. This one is such a light coverage. I thought maybe I can do a little color correcting. This is the medium to dark, but I'm only gonna use it under my eyes to color correct this shadow a little bit. Okay, we've been in Texas now for, oh, how long have we been here? We came here just before New Year's. I want to say the 29th, maybe the 30th. Time flies when you're having fun, I have no idea. There is a big difference between these two. Very, very nice. Okay, I'm very impressed. And we are like, slowly but surely, we are like, adapting a little bit to this. I will say yesterday we went on a walk together, me and Ricardo, we went with a walk together with the dog and the weather was that kind of weather. If you're from Sweden, if you're from Northern Europe, that kind of weather, that a really lovely July evening. It was warm, uh, the sun was setting, but we were wearing a t-shirt, like it was beautiful. And we were both laughing because we were like, we're all thinking like, oh my God, the weather is so amazing. But I mean, I get it. I get that like it's gonna get warmer and warmer and warmer. I will say though, I'm using this one that's a little lighter. I will say though, me and Ricardo, I mean, we do pay good money to go to the Mediterranean to be in 40, 
40 Celsius. Oh, he's still here. And 40 Celsius degrees to be like super hot during the summer. So it's not like we're not used to the warmth or to like having moist weather. It's not like we're not used to it. I'm going to be using a brush for this. But it is still, I like, it's a difference. That, and that's what we were talking about. It's a difference spending time in a really humid and hot climate on a vacation and living in it and working in it and doing your daily tasks in it, going out with like trash, <laughs> you know, uh, going to work, trying to do grocery shopping. There's a difference in like being on the beach, reading a novel and actually having to do stuff. It's not the same. I mean, you can clearly see that it evens out the skin tone, it looks really fresh and beautiful, but it's clearly too light for me. But it's okay. I'm gonna bronze up. I'm gonna bronze up. Actually, I don't... I think it's easier to have a foundation that's a shade too light because it's so easy to bronze up your perimeters and just pretend like that is what you intended it to be than it is to have a foundation that's a shade too dark for you because trying to light them that up with concealers and um, it usually doesn't end up looking as natural Ooh, what is this as natural as like the other way around i feel really fresh faced and i feel like it just evened up my skin tone a little bit it didn't really cover anything and apparently i have something here that's really showing right now i'm gonna see if i can do some concealer cover up on that one. I think I'm gonna let this set for a second so that I can see how this is when it sets a bit and I'm gonna see if I can spot conceal a little bit. I do use this one to spot conceal. It's a foundation but it dries down on itself and it's full coverage so I use that to spot conceal. I'm gonna see if I can conceal this little bibbidi bop. I'm gonna do my brows and we'll see how this sets down without some powder and I would like to get some more coffee or maybe not. Oh look at my cup! I got the Austin cup from Starbucks. I wanted to get the Texas one as well, but I couldn't find it. But look at how cute it is with the little combo boots. Okay, so I did a little spot concealing and I feel like I was able to do something with that. I think I'm just gonna use a smidgen of concealer on top of this, like just a dot like that. And this is the one size concealer and I'm gonna set it with some powder. I do have this, um, new powder from Sigma and they say to use this under your eyes, but This is just a little bit too sparkly to use like it not sparkly But like it's a very luminous powder and I can't use that in this area because I am gonna age myself So I'm gonna use this on the perimeter, but I'm gonna set it with my Tried and true the NYX HD uh, banana powder. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of this I'm in the process of reviewing this one size concealer um, to see how I feel about it. I'm actually meeting uh, Lisa, Lisa J. Do you know the owner of BK Beauty? I'm meeting her for lunch today. I'm actually filming my new makeup releases now after this, and then we are meeting up for lunch. It's been so fun me not meeting people, because like, let's be honest, we haven't really been meeting anyone during these years it's so nice to be meeting people and it's also so nice to be meeting people within the beauty community within the beauty sphere that like really like love beauty and like just i don't know if you you get it like if you have a very specific job or if you have a very specific like interest it's so nice to meet people that has the same interest as you i mean this is why we go to like conventions and stuff like that because we get to meet people and i feel like that's probably going to be one of the biggest um good things about being in the states is that there are more people here that share my interest or that share my job situation let's put it like that because like in sweden i i, I had maggie and we did hang out like a couple of times a year but we didn't live in the same part of the city and we we're both very busy. And of course, 2020, 2021, now 2022 happened and like it wasn't really that easy. Am I going to use a little bit of this brush with the powder as well? Just to layer it on. And it's just so nice to be like meeting people. I feel like this concealer is really good and you can tell that it's a full coverage concealer. But I think that this was a little bit too full coverage for this kind of a skin tint because you can tell that I have coverage under my eyes, right? Like I can tell. So maybe this isn't the best concealer with a more light coverage uh, 
foundation like now I know it's so beautiful though I am gonna use oh, I have this brush I was probably gonna use this for this is also from that new Sigma collection I will link everything down below um, if you want to uh, try some things out I really like the uh, the corrector it was really nice and creamy and I had to use only a little bit and it really did cover uh, my dark surface like not cover but like yeah, they, they, they corrected them a little bit. I'm gonna use just a little bit. That is, is that a highlighter maybe more? I that ma'am, that's a highlighter. Okay. Um <clears throat> Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Putting the lid back on that one. Okay, that is a highlighter. That is, I love that they said use it on your under eyes. Man, we're not doing that. Okay, <laughs> abort that mission. Um, I'm gonna use a little bit of my tried and true. Um, what was that? What? What? No, 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 no. That was like full on Edward Cullen. <laughs> I'm gonna live forever. <laughs> need to move to a rainy state not doing that not today satan yeah my concealer is definitely you can tell definitely definitely too full coverage for something like this i think i'm gonna go over with a little bit of the ColourPop. um oh, you can t i'm too light as well i'm too light okay let me bronze up and i'm gonna go over with a little bit of like foundation powder or something um because i'm just a, i'm too pale and this coverage here is not looking weird with the concealer i love that i'm going out to lunch and i'm like i don't like this i'm gonna use my tried and true i think i'm gonna hit pan on this soon this is the fenty powder bronzer okay let me see if i can <laughs> fix this i used a little bit of the ColourPop um pretty fresh powder and i'm just gonna do a little setting spray and i think i was able to somewhat somewhat fix it I don't know. What do you think? You're gonna have to let me know. Maybe I should put the poof back in this one. Poof. Maybe I can bring this. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna do actually my lips and I'm gonna do a little eye primer. I have the... Am I gonna mix maybe the light and the dark one? Because I have the Natasha Denona eye primers. I think I'm gonna mix the light and the dark because I'm gonna be doing a grungy look. So here's the thing. I'm inspired by two different looks that I have seen um, with my palette. One being this beautiful look here that teamed the look. This look is beautiful, by the way. I will link both of these looks down below. This is so stunning. And she wore... Here it is. She wore this beautiful, like almost like olive green lipsticks i think i'm gonna do that as well i don't think this is the same one but i was very inspired to wear an olive green lipstick so that's what i'm gonna do i don't know if i'm gonna go out in this we'll see we'll see how i feel about it and then also this beautiful look right here i was very inspired by that because i know that this look again i will link both these looks down below because i'm pretty sure they did tutorials and um, it's using this row here so i think i'm gonna do something similar as well and i might incorporate a little bit of this one i don't know but like just doing this shadow on top of the yellow that's that's what i think i'm gonna do but i'm gonna start off with this one this is mandy satin liquid lipstick <laughs> it's like an olive green it's from unearthly cosmetic i'll link it down below obviously this color is a little bit different i don't want to say weird because i think like saying something is weird it's just it's giving it a negative spin before we even started but it is a little bit different. Let's just put it like that. So I'm doing just a little bit of eye primer and then we can start with the look. I just wanna do something yellow and layering the double-sided on top because it's gonna bring it that yellowy pink ethereal look. And I am so looking forward to doing something like that since I talked to Nikki about like the idea of doing that. Cause she didn't do exactly that, but in her look, she teamed the yellow with the double-sided and I was like, so inspired. So I wanna show you what it could look like. Oh, they worked really good together. Like when I used them together. Okay, let me start. I even cleaned some brushes for this. I know, who am I? I am gonna start with this one, the wolf shade. And I'm gonna put that uh, in my crease. I'm just stamping this on. I'm using an unearthly brush and I'm gonna stamp this in the crease 
and this is gonna be our like I don't want to say our main shade because it's not really our main shade but it's definitely gonna be our main shade in the crease I didn't let the primer like set or dry in any way shape or form so I'm basically setting the primer with this shadow so I'm just packing it on oh they go so well together and now I'm just gonna blend it out a bit it is so refreshing to have a TV again. Oh my god. I didn't... I am not the person that watches TV. And still, now that I didn't have one, I'm blending this out with the, uh, the yellowy shade here. I'm just taking a little bit on the edge. And now that I didn't have a TV, all of a sudden, I was like, oh, this would have been so nice to have a TV. It would have been so nice to be able to sit down and watch TV. I like, all of a sudden, I was like missing i was missing having a tv and i've never been that person before like i never missed having a tv i never really i don't want to say i never really wanted a tv but it was definitely not something that i wanted i lived several years of my life without having a tv even so it was a weird concept for me to be like oh i wish i had a tv because i i don't want to say like i've never felt like that before but i haven't missed having a TV, but I guess I'm I'm talking to so many people that watch TV now, so I get so influenced by the shows that they're watching and they're like discussing, like my friends on Polar discussing shows and I'm like, <laughs> I wanna watch the shows too. So I did watch the second season of Sweet Magnolias. I am watching, um, is it called creating Anna. I think that's the one with Anna Delvey. I'm watching that one now and I want to watch the new Sex and the City. I, I watched the Emily in Paris season two. That one I watched. I want to like do a video almost on like Emily in Paris. Um, I'm using uh, the Decay shade now because I'm like I have so many thoughts about Emily in Paris and not about the characters. Like the storyline is ridiculous. The way that the like people in the series react is ridiculous but I feel like the fashion of the series has gotten so much crap and I feel like people at least how I am seeing the fashion in that show I feel like people miss the point it's not about dressing like Emily in Paris it's not about dressing like her it's about realizing that there's nothing wrong in dressing up. There's nothing wrong with wearing fun kooky clothes on a normal Tuesday. Life is too short to wear jeans and t-shirt and sneakers every day. Unless that's like your absolute style, but don't save your fun sequiny clothes for a special day. You're never going to be invited to the Oscars. And I kind of want to talk about this phenomenon that people are not wearing their fun clothes. They're saving them for an occasion. That's just not gonna happen let's be honest so it's been really fun watching the series even though i almost get annoyed with the characters because i'm like stop it no one's reacting like this just talk to people i don't know it just gets me frustrated sometimes are you the same because i get frustrated with people in series when they're acting stupid i'm like nobody's acting like this nobody's saying that Ugh, i don't know and i can get the same with the anna delvey series but i feel like it's hard to know how you would have reacted in that though, because like, I feel like Anna Delvey, it's almost like a deep dive in like how we watch wealth. And it made me realize that wealth, as we see it today, the way that the world sees it, it's almost the same strategy as like MLMs. Just pretend you're rich long enough so that people actually believe you're rich and then you can become rich. It's just, it feels like this whole, oh, it's only a mindset. It's not about it being a mindset. It's about like, how believable is it? How, how far will you go to make people believe that you are? Because then you can actually become. And I feel like I just, I don't know. There's so many more things in life than having an abundance of money. That is not the end all be all. And I just want to shake people and be like, you don't need to be rich to have a good life. You can have enough. Like you don't have to be like rich, rich. I am just going back and forth and blending now for no apparent reason. I am actually pretty happy with how this is looking. I think this is, this is really nice. I'm just doing one eye for 
because I was talking so much, but I want to put the double-sided on top, and I think I am going to spray it. I'm picking it up with a brush. See, it picks up really nicely. Let me see if I can spray it. Do I have a spray? You know what I bought? I did buy one thing at the... Um, at the sale at Ulta and I bought Mac, Mac Fix Plus. I haven't had a Mac Fix Plus, oh, look at that, in, I can't even remember. And I started thinking like how long ago since I had a Mac Fix Plus and how some favorites from long ago, look at that. Uh, some favorites from long ago survived. Like they're still favorites. I still love them. I still recommend them. Like I repurchased the Fix Plus now. And it also got me thinking, I wonder how many things in my collection are still in my collection that I have used since the beginning years of my YouTube, because I have soon been on YouTube for seven years, which is madness. Oh, and I want to get back to vlogging as well. I promise I will. Uh, I know some people have asked me, like, what happened with vlogging? Why aren't you vlogging? And I will be honest, my... I don't want to say that I'm suffering from, like any kind of mental illness or anything like that, but I have been struggling a lot with mental health throughout my entire year. I have been diagnosed with, before, I've talked about this on my channel before, with clinical depression several times in during my lifetime. Um, and I wouldn't say that I'm depressed, but I definitely noticed that things were sneaking up on me. I had days where I was just sad and down for no reason at all. So I decided that, like, because my vlog, I wanted it to be me showing me my life and I wasn't really myself and I'm just trying to get back to my normal self. I do want to do some vlogging but it's been stressful and I will also say I'm a yes person especially when it comes to work. I'll say yes to anything, anything that sounds fun, even things that just sound remotely fun and I have been saying yes to maybe one too many things lately so I, I've been kind of stressed and I've been working like you know seven in the morning until ten at night seven days a week, uh, more or less for a couple of weeks now. And it's just, it's been a lot. And that's no fun to vlog either, but I'm gonna get back to it, I promise. I'm gonna get back to it. And I will of course show you how things are like shaping up in this house because it's, it's turning out to be real pretty. I did the same thing under my eyes. I really, really like how this is looking. Oh, my bananas. I'm not talking to you, sweetie, that dog. I am gonna use a little bit of rebirth. That is a cat hair. I'm gonna, how, how? Are my cats like trying to hang out? I don't even understand how it happens. I'm like, is my cats cuddling with my brushes? Oh, I love that shade. With my brushes when I'm not here, I think that rebirth is my favorite shade in this entire palette. I didn't think that it was going to be, I know a lot of people, like, tell me, if you have this palette, what's your favorite shade? I've heard a lot of people say river. I mean, river is beautiful. I thought that my favorite shade was going to be this one, but this one is such a good inner corner highlight that I think it's, like, my favorite. I am going to use a little bit of this um, shimmery shade on top, though, just so we can keep... Uh, the double sided just so we can keep the theme. The Reaver shade is definitely my most used shade and I think it is my favorite shade. I really really like how this is looking. I still feel like my face is a little bit too light and I also think that this product is perfect for like maybe not this heavy makeup. I usually do use like heavy eye makeup with a sheer base but this is a very sheer base but my face does look really nice though. Maybe a little bit too, like, flat. Let's see if we can get this to melt together a little bit. Is that better? <laughs> Is that better? But yeah, let me... What do I want to do? Do I want to finish this up? Do I want to have something in my work line? Do I want to do green, maybe? I'm like, what am I doing? I don't think I have any more things to use. I wanted to use this new um, highlight though from Game Beauty. Maybe I can do that. Did I bring out any blush? I don't think I did. Let me use this. I've only swatched this. This is the one that has the more yellowy toned. It is the Geo one, number three. These highlighters, they have launched now. Ooh, let me see. These highlighters are available now. I do have a, if I have a code with any of these things, I'll leave it down below because I think there's a couple of things that I do have codes with, but I thought like a yellow highlighter would be good for today since I'm doing a more yellowy look because these are like duochrome highlighters. They swatched really beautiful. Just need to use them on my face as well. 
I think that these are looking really, really nice. And yeah, I don't see a cast. Ooh, I really need to go to a hairdresser and have a haircut. My ends are so split, but I'm just like, when am I going to have time for all of this? And that's like, I've been... I've been wanting to like, you know, relax, take a weekend, just see Austin, but I have just been taking on too many things and it's just been uh, a lot. So I'm so happy that we do have our TV and our couch right now so that we can actually just at least see like some, some, some series and some movies together. We watched that new movies on Netflix, the one with Ryan Reynolds. It was okay. The end was like uh, weird. <laughs> I don't know if you've seen it or not, but I like all these products. I will say the concealer did not go with the skin tint. And now that I backed off a bit, I feel like the color I really bronzed up. I feel like it's matching a little bit better. I feel like I'm doing okay, right? It's okay. I love this eye look and I'm so happy I did with the with the olive lipstick. I think it's so beautiful. And yeah, again, if you missed it, I know a lot of people have been asking me like, when is it restocking? Is it restocking? Yes, it's restocking. I will leave the info in the description box. Don't forget to check it out. Pretty sure that this is the last restock. So once it is gone, it is probably gone and it is not uh, probably coming back. I used to wear probably because I, I, I want to be as like transparent as possible with you. And I feel like this is like a line that we're like, tethering when it comes to being on YouTube and like I don't want to overshare but at the same time I want to be transparent like I don't want to tell you something and it turns out to not be true but at the same time I don't want to overshare so that I give you more info than I actually like would like to share of me and my life and all of that and also I don't want to share too much about like people around me, people in my life that hasn't chosen to be online. Yeah, I was going to tell you about my trip. I almost forgot. I have booked a trip. And if you're on Instagram, you know, I booked a trip to see Sananta March in Vegas. So I am heading out first weekend in April. It's going to be so much fun. We are going to do some shopping. We're going to hang by the pool and we are going to vlog for sure. I am going to vlog and I know Samantha said just she was going to vlog as well. We are going to be filming some videos together as well for our like main channel. Uh, I'm thinking I want to do like I want to do Samantha's makeup so bad. I'm thinking like blue, green, yellow, dramatic, right? I, we need to do something or maybe like a rainbow, like something. I am so excited. I haven't done anyone's makeup in a really long time. If you didn't know, I did use to freelance a little bit as a makeup artist. I am excited though, because I, I mean, the girl is gorgeous. She can really carry a lot of makeup. And I just feel like I want to do something really fun and bright and colorful on her. So I think that's going to be super fun. If you have anything that you would like us to do, maybe a Q&A together, maybe something like that, please let me know. I am super, super excited to meet Samantha, of course. I'm going to try and meet up Annette as well. I have talked to her that I am going. So it's going to be so much fun. I'm so excited. And I, I just want to take advantage that I'm on this continent, that I'm able to see my friends that I've met through YouTube. Because it was not that easy to visit people when I'm in Sweden. Now it's a little bit easier. Like, it's a domestic flight. I don't have to, like, plan for a week. Like, I can go for just a couple of days. And it's just really, really exciting. But let me know what you think about the look. Let me know what's your favorite shade in the palette. And if you have any, like, thoughts or, like, suggestions for my trip to Vegas, please let me know. Now I'm going to film my new makeup releases. And then I'm going to meet Lisa J for some lunch. And that's also going to be so fabulous. I hope you're having an amazing day. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you again tomorrow for a new video. Bye!